ladies and gentlemen, it is exactly 4.30 Eastern time here in the Boston area or wherever you may happen to be. It's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today for this event, sponsored by the good folks at Ninja Trader. Please welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Can I please get a quick audio video sound check? Great. Uh, welcome to this online trader central and ninja trader sponsored introductory webinar for trend following trades, uh, patent pending advanced market administrator, which we call a TFT AMA. My name is John Carnes. I'm the owner of trendfollowingtrades.com. And we'll be conducting this presentation today. Let me just get something out of the way here. Uh, to our US government Required disclaimer, futures and options trading has large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. This is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell futures, options, or any sort of chartable instrument. The past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. Use, any of this informa use of any of this information is entirely at your own risk, of which trendfollowingtrades.com as affiliates, employees, or owners are not liable. All information exists for nothing other than entertainment and general educational purposes. We are not registered trading advisors. All right, during this webinar, I'll be discussing the entire trend following trades methodology, training tools, and available indicators. I'll also be talking about our new patent pending uh, TFT AMA. As you will see shortly, it is a very unique and powerful trading platform interface to Ninja Trader 7. Near the end of the webinar, we'll be offering a special for our chart trading method, and we'll answer any questions from the group. Please hold off unrelated questions until I get through the presentation. And if I do not answer your question during the presentation, uh, I'll answer them after the webinar. Trend following trades uses a visually simplistic method geared towards trend trading in a two to one targeted reward to risk ratio money management profile, coupled with a target and trail routine where our goal is to take two thirds of our profit off at either a target that is twice the size of our stop or before then if support resistance is in the way. We then trail the market with the last third of our position, enabling us to capture and follow through trending moves that occur almost every day in many markets. This allows us to take full advantage of any continuation swings that occur in the market that we are trading. We have a very visually simplistic way of entering the market and a fairly strict defined rule set of filtering out low probability trades and setups. I like to talk about this a lot. And I call it the math behind the method. A lot of traders ask us because we basically uh, encourage trading in lots of three. Obviously, when you first start out, you know, you need to trade a one lot. But when you earn the right, we like to use the term earn the right to uh, trade three lots. Um, a lot of people say, well, why can't you trade two with taking, you know, a partial and then trailing out your last contract, which you may see a lot of people in other methods and systems doing. The reason is because math isn't on our side. Let me just give a simple example of a one winning trade and one losing trade by having both of them having the same reward to risk profile, okay? Where the winning trade doesn't go beyond our first initial target or our partial, and you know the trailer comes back to break even, and obviously the second trade would be a loser. With a two lot, a 10 tick risk and a 20 tick target, okay, one winning trade will yield us 20 ticks, meaning one contract you're gonna make 20 ticks, and one contract you're gonna make nothing, because it goes back to break even. So Essentially, you're up 20 ticks on one winner. Okay, the losing trade, because you're in with two contracts, is going to cost you 20 ticks. You know, it's two, two contracts times 10 ticks, yielding you a net profit of zero. And you also have to take into account commission and slippage. In the three lot example, with a 10 tick stop and a 20 tick target, on the winning trade, we take two lots off of 20 ticks and exit our trailer at break even. The losing trade result is minus 30 ticks, which is three times 10 yielding us or leaving us with 10 ticks of profit, less commission. Although this doesn't sound like a lot of profit, it fundamentally creates a way of trading where we only need to be right 50% of the time uh, to make decent money. Once traders understand this concept, it's much easier to pull the trigger psychologically uh, on valid trade setups. With study, practice, and focus, many days we can enjoy win rates far greater than 50%. Again, this low win rate requirement removes a large psychological burden that a trader faces with every trade, every day that he or she trades. All right, this is a slide of some basic Elliott Wave theory as a general rule for those of you that understand it or may not understand it. 
this is a theory that talks about the start of a trend, a pullback, continuation of a trend, a pullback, and a final push, a lot of times where a trend would end. Okay? We here at Trend Following Trades focus on this wave three right here. Okay? A lot of our indicators and a lot of the method teachings are essentially based on that concept. Any further trades that we take, add-ons or additional trades in wave five, there's certain times, and this is a perfect example of one where prior resistance becomes support. We will take this trade as an add-on, uh, knowing that its probability of success is less than a wave three trade. Let me show you some valid setups and trades from today. So I'm actually going to pull up some charts here and show you our indicators, talk a little bit about them, and some of the things that we, we do. Okay. Let me uh, turn this camera off here. For some reason, I... All right. I believe I have the charts up now. Okay. Um, basically, what we have here, this is the Australian dollar, the 6A, full-size future. And what we encourage is using a two-time frame. Uh, we, we provide three Wick, or Wick Renko bars for Ninja Trader. Okay? So we like to use uh, two charts. Let me just maximize charts so you can actually uh, see it a lot larger. There we go. And essentially, um, what we have is we have... We call this our TFT MOMO indicator. Okay, it's a hybrid momentum indicator designed for trend trading. And with this indicator, uh, we can, it's a very, very powerful indicator. It's not your standard squeeze indicator, but it's plotted as a histogram. So with this, we can identify areas of standard divergence, hidden divergence, reverse divergence, uh, things of that nature. Although we're not divergence traders, we do recognize conditions of divergence and Keep them in mind in everything that we do in our trading decisions. When you get up to the top pane here, you can see a nice visually simplistic uh, way. You'll see these diamonds, then you'll see arrows, okay? These are actual trade signals. These little hash marks here that you see are suggested trade entries, okay? And we have a solid line here and a dashed line here, and the area in between we call our value area. When price pulls back into this area, at that point in time, we consider it on sale, you know, if you're going long, or if we're going short, we consider it, you know, high priced. So we want to try to get short as high up in this value area as possible, or have price close up inside here, and then you'll get a signal, a visual signal, a sound alert that will identify the market, the time frame, and that there's a pullback. Now, we don't take every signal that is plotted what we do is we look at the filter. We use this Momo indicator as a filter to determine whether or not we have permission to take this trade. And we also look at some background colors that we have plotted here, which incorporate Elliott Wave Theory and compilation of moving averages. So when everything aligns visually, and you can tell very quickly, we enter our trade. We have basically a two brick stop and a four brick target for the first third of our position. And we essentially trail out to a close above uh, these stop dots here on our last third of our position. There are times we'll exit before that uh, once we can identify some obvious areas of divergence to exit from with this MOMO indicator. The Renko bar bars that we provide, the Wick Renko bars, uh, they show the Wicks. We like to use Wick Renko because standard Renko bars, they smooth out a lot of the price action, but they don't show where price has been. We like to see uh, every place the price has been. We also have a swing indicator, um, and this is a fully customizable swing indicator that plots a dot and price, okay? Um, and basically, I have up on the chart three time frames. Red is short, blue is middle, and black is long, and they tend to overwrite each other, okay? What's unique about this uh, swing indicator is, like a lot of swing indicators, a dot will start plotting, but you never really know when it's going to stop or when price is going to overtake it. The minute one of our dots plots and plots a price, that means it's done moving. We have a very sophisticated algorithm that looks at the programmed uh, formula for this and then determines that if price cannot violate it, it'll plot it. 
So that means that we can use this as information to determine areas of support and resistance on the left side of the chart. Okay. When I talk about um, volume and things of that nature, nowadays um, there's a lot of high frequency trading, or basically uh, called HFT, where a lot of computers do uh, fast. Uh, algorithmic trades with uh, lots of size but not all at once and they get in and out really fast and a lot of time bars range bars volume bars really wind up uh, destroying the look of a indicator set that is very smooth uh, in its function and its design so we don't have these big spike bars or these little uh, doji bars or things like that we have very consistent size bars, which are not time or volume sensitive, okay? And like I said, nowadays volume has changed quite a bit, and I'll get into that in a minute, okay? As electronic traders, we used to be able to track big money footprints by following large block orders that are put in the market and often identified uh, and or created developing trends. Nowadays, large institutions hide these orders by covering their footprints with high speed, small out, ex small out execution, which by definition is HFD trading. There's another type of volume which is uh, quite a bit more relevant, and it's cumulative delta. But even with the monitoring of cumulative delta, which really is the monitoring of net long, net short positions at certain price levels, okay, that type of monitoring has been diminished because of the games that large institutions play. Uh, for example, you know, we're here in the Australian dollar futures market, okay? There's the, you know, U.S. Aussie dollar cross in the Forex spot market. And what a lot of institutions will do now in the same account is they'll initiate positions. Uh, let's go over here. They'll initiate positions short in the futures market, and they'll take their profits in the cash market, okay? And as long as they're in the same account, they're essentially hedging uh, their profits. But if you look at cumulative delta, this whole swing down in the futures market will show net long in cumulative delta. And they do this intentionally because they know cumulative delta used to be a very powerful way to monitor where they're holding their positions to and where they let them go, where they accumulate things like that. But a lot of that's gone to the wayside. Okay, so we do address a certain volume factor when we talk about the TFTMA, uh, which I will uh, demonstrate later. And as I've stated, you know, above, we look for those markets whose movement has already defined a direction, okay, and it hasn't moved too far, and then we look for a price pattern we can identify and take advantage of. Essentially, pull backs into here, and you'll see these signals, all right? Let me uh, bring a little slide up here. Okay. Hang on a second here. I want to get this in here. All right. This is not going to cooperate with me. Just bear with me one second here. Okay. Um, currently, you can load up a bunch of charts with a bunch of different monitors and patiently, you know, wait and watch for a market to show its hand as tra traders. Uh, let me try to get this slide up here. Uh, it's not cooperating with me on, or better yet, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh, just going to bring you over here. What's happening is I have this market up live. You know what, let me turn off. Uh, I really can't. I have this market up live, and every time it ticks, it uh, overwrites the slide. So let me see if I can get the camera over here. Just hang on a second, folks, please.
All right, stop, stop. All right, I can't exactly get this to the size that I want. Uh, however, we'll get a good uh, picture of what I'm trying to show here, okay? The biggest challenge with this type of trading, which is trend trading, um, you know, which is what we're talking about, is to try and trade only the markets that are moving and trending, okay? So again, one way to do it is to load up a bunch of monitors with a bunch of charts and, you know, watch uh, very patiently and very, you know, carefully and focused for markets uh, that, you know, start to trend, okay? The reality is, <laughs> like this little guy here staring at the screen, now, the reality is that most traders focus on one or two markets of their choice and are forced to either wait for identifiable trending conditions that they can take advantage of or force trades that don't have the highest probability of success. Okay, so what, what do a lot of traders do? They change their minds quickly. Many traders have a trading plan, and if the market that they're looking at or markets isn't doing what their plan says, a lot of traders veer from that plan and decide to start trading, you know, taking counter trend trades or cutting their targets short or making their stops big. They make some bad decisions because the markets that they're looking at really aren't cooperating from a trending standpoint, okay? In my opinion, the best way to trade is to watch as many markets as you can, okay? And wait for the highest probability setups um, and ignore the ones in the markets that aren't trending so that uh, you don't get caught in congestion or sideways move, okay? Even with the event of market analyzers, all right, let this come up. This is an example of a market analyzer, all right? They don't visually tell us the whole picture. We were all about visual simplicity. It's hard enough to make trending decisions uh, without having a whole bunch of confusion going on in front of you visually. So, you know, you can pull up a market analyzer that will tell you certain things that your indicators might be doing, but visually this is very difficult to envision from a chart standpoint. And we're all used to looking at charts. We make decisions based off of that. This is a tool that can help aid people, but it really doesn't do a whole lot, okay? So instead of focusing on one or two markets that we're used to trading or the popular markets, nowadays, all right, I'm going to pull up another chart here. Let this come up. Nowadays, okay, whether it's commodities, indexes, currencies, or whatever, these markets all have the same execution characteristics and often have the same price and momentum patterns in them every day, all right? Many times you can cover up the market type and price, which I've done here, okay? And there's a little identification down here, but essentially we don't know what this market is. It's a Wick Renko bar, obviously, but you know what? We really don't care, okay? As long as the market you're considering trading has high liquidity and tight spreads, it can be traded with the trend following trade setups the same exact way as the more popular market. So this is really important because now we are no longer restricted to the ES or the YM or crude oil. We can, you know, ideally monitor a bunch of markets and trade the ones that really start to take off in a direction, come and pull back into our value area, be able to get in and, you know, take advantage of the condition that it's uh, currently in. Uh, which at that point in time we've identified as a trending condition, okay? Here at Trend Following Trades, we found a way to get around this problem with a very effective and easy to use grid type of trading platform interface that shows us at all times the pertinent data that we need to make these trading decisions from all on one monitor. And let me show you that. Bear with me one second here. All right, everybody, welcome to Trend Following Trade Advanced Market Administrator. Let's give it a second to come up.
All right, there we go. This is the patent pending TFT AMA, all right? And what this does, okay, this is a full-size screenshot of it, all right? Um, it uses all the same exact rules and tools as we do with the chart trading method, um, but it brings it up into what we call it, okay? And this grid is highly functional in execution, very visual. Uh, it actually brings little mini charts in here. And the way we'd like to set it up is this way, where we put the grid on one half of a 1080p monitor. Uh, we like to use a, a, a pretty decent resolution, but a, a, an often common monitor that um, people see. Let me just try to get the whole uh, picture in here. I'm not sure why it's not showing um, the whole monitor. Okay, I don't know that uh, this is how this is going to work because I can show one screen or show the other. Okay, um, what you're looking at here right now. Okay, what you're looking at here right now is a TFT AMA alongside two charts. Unfortunately, you can't see the two charts uh, in your viewing screen. But what happens is when I click on these boxes here, what's happening is that there's two charts on the right-hand side uh, that come up to show you, give you full-size charts of what we're looking at. And let me just see if I actually drag them in here. You'll see what I'm talking about. If I drag this in here, you'll see the charts here. No, it's not going to let me show them. Okay, there we go. You can see here as I click through these different markets, you'll see different charts pop up. Okay. Like I said, ideally I, on my one monitor that I'm looking at, uh, you can see both the AMA and the charts that pop up on the left-hand side. All right. So let me go over the AMA, and then I'll uh, talk about the charts and, you know, what's happening in the charts and what comes up here. The very first thing we have on, on the left-hand side is our instrument. This grid, which is an AMA futures grid, okay, allows you to pull up 12 different market, markets and or multiple time frames of the same market, okay, right on the left-hand side here. You then have an open, uh, open and closed P&L area for each market, and then down here on the lower left, you have a global P&L. I was just kind of playing around, taking a couple trades before we came into here. Uh, so you'll see this closed P&L and then where it came from in each market. We then, moving across the, the grid here, we have basically our trend uh, indicator, which let me uh, show you on the chart. Uh, let me get through these first. We have our trend indicator, our market structure, short, middle, and long term. And essentially, this is using those swing dots that I told you about. If we have a lower low or a lower high, we're going to get light red. If we have a lower low and a lower high, we're going to get dark red. And then we have the three time frames, the short, the middle, and the long. So if you see solid red here, okay, this is showing that we have a down market structure swing with down trend. Let me just show you the chart of what this actually looks like, the full-size chart. Okay, so this is this down swing on that grid. I do apologize, folks. I can't bring up on the same monitor. I did not expect to run into that, so I'm just going to have to jump back and forth. But they are up on the same monitor. So essentially, by looking at the grid and looking at the mini charts, right up in here, we don't need to open up a chart other than to go to that chart to look for left side support and resistance and trading room. 
okay? We also capture panel two uh, with this chart. Now notice, I'm gonna bring my cursor over and I'm gonna actually, it's not gonna, let me just see here if I can do this with the crosshairs. Okay, you can see my uh, crosshairs there on the second chart down. Um, I'm actually in the chart and down, I'm down at the indicator at the bottom in the Momo. So you get real time, a real time view of what's happening in charts that aren't even displayed on any monitors. And this is where the patented technology lies. Okay, so let me get back to the administrator here. And now we can kind of take a good look at the markets right in here with fairly decent sized charts um, without having to pull up other charts. All right. We also have a little a block here that shows your net change in ticks from the wherever you have your session template set up. In my case, it's midnight. We set it up the last price trade it. We pull up our ATM strategies here from Ninjatrader 7. You simply right click on them. You can pull from the list of predefined ATM strategies you have. We do have an order flow section. This is a form of cumulative delta. However, it's based on swing delta. It's not a, a cumulative delta of the entire day, it's of the most recent swing. So what we'd like to see is when we get a price pull back into an area here, we'd like to see that this cumulative delta is still red, okay? This chart is a, refreshes itself in real time, all right? And actually these little mini charts here, I believe are down to uh, 200 milliseconds or something like that, just so that it doesn't really eat up a lot of CPU space. Okay, Toby, so just to answer your question there. So we're able to pull up an ATM strategy. We're able to monitor order flow, uh, which basically tells us that when we get this swing coming down, we get this pullback, and currently right now, that this whole swing is net short from accumulation, accumulative delta standpoint. We could care less what happened you know, prior in the day or in prior days, but we are interested in what's happening. Actually, it's from this point right here, this most recent swing. Also, we have uh, see indigo bars, uh, basically means that we've crossed our stop dots and we're in a, in a sell mode. When we get cyan uh, color, we have cyan bars, we're in a buy mode. And then here we have execution blocks, anything that highlights is a, a block that all you have to do is with your mouse, put a single click in and it'll put an order in. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go over to the 6A, which is our Australian dollar. I'm gonna click on this box here and what it's done, you'll see right here and the chart next to me that you can't see, it's put a stop limit order in. Let me uh, pull up this chart so that you can actually see it. This is what you're looking at next to me. All right, it's put a stop limit order in. Let me just open this up. Right here where it plotted a hash mark. All right, it gave us an early warning signal. It said set up 6A4. All right, so right now we have a stop limit order in. This block highlighted uh, light red, all right? or the block in the AMA highlighted, excuse me, light green, we're able to click on it and it put the order in according to the strategy that's in there. Now, if this gets executed in, it will show us our target and our stop. This is just a, a one contract uh, type of trade. Um, if this bar pulls back deeper, okay, it's gonna automatically cancel this order out and resubmit it at the open of the next bar further on down here, all right? so. This is the way we would chart trade. You can see these are all setups that actually took, uh, occurred and went through. Um, we like to take them early uh, in the swing, and we like to look for things uh, like this. And again, we have a very in-depth educational series. We like to look for markets that are transitioning in order to get long or short. We should have been long here, uh, down here, uh, up into this uh, double top here. We also look for markets to get beyond these horizontal lines here, which we call our chop zone, and take trades outside of this chop zone. Right now, we're in the chop zone. We're against the major trend. Let me go back into uh, the grid, the AM, show you.
Okay, in this market here, you can see this orange box tells us what market you know, we were last looking at. Uh, the one thing I didn't do, when you, when you have no movement, we're at a really bad time of day at 5 o'clock. They have basically no market movement. So, you know, from a bad time of day from a standpoint of looking at charts and taking trades. Um, but essentially, the next tick that comes along, this will update here, uh, our uh, price. But right now, it's just uh, not doing anything. Let me get this in a little bit better. So essentially, you can see the things I drew in, you saw here. Also, any other indicators you may have or display inside this window will pop up over here. All right. But you notice we have our long-term structure down, our middle-term structure down, our medium-term structure up, and our short-term short uh, just turning up because it's light, not dark. So this is what we would call a counter-trend trade, not a high-probability trade. So even though it's giving us a warning to take an entry, I say, you know what? I don't want to take this trade. All I do here is hit close. It cancels that order out automatically, and now it is removed. If I want to put it back in, I just click on this box. The order is now back in, and if it does get executed in, I can use Chart Trader to manipulate. So I cancel that out. Let's look at another market here. Let's look at the Canadian dollar. Okay. Ken, let me get uh, back to you later on that. Um, and Georgie, this is uh, this interface is uh, dedicated to NinjaTrader 7. It's its own trading platform um, that is using NinjaTrader 7 uh, as its base and platform uh, to trade with. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna look at the uh, Canadian dollar here. You'll see. You can look again. These charts may seem small. Let me maximize. Because I can't show the charts on the right, I'll just show them all here. You can see we have a pullback in here. All I have to do is click on this block, all right, and it puts an order in. Okay, it's a little hard to see the line here, but again, there's a chart to the right that shows it. If I want to cancel it out, I just hit close. All right, let's look at the at gold here. Oh, actually, I think you might be able to see this. Okay, so here you go. Now we have two charts to the right. You don't see the execution blocks, but... What I can do here, as you can see, as I click through these now, what I wanted to show you before, all with the left click, we can pull up multiple charts that are designated to each one of these blocks. Okay, let me move them back over here. All right. So, let me... Uh, Get back on this grid, get it up full time. All right. And I'm going to click on gold. All right. I know there's a little delay here, so I just kind of have to wait until uh, this comes up. And now notice here, I'm going to, I can't get to the execution block because it's underneath this chart, but I'm going to hit it and it's going to put a stop limit order in right here. All right. We got the early warning signal. As a chart trader, I would go in here with Ninja Traders, Chart Trader, I could right click. I can put an order in. Now with this grid, I can do it all with single execution. Let me move this over, and I'll just show you here. See, now I got this out of the way, but I just clicked this block, okay, and it basically brought back in. A little tricky here to work with uh, monitors this way. Let's do it this way. But it brought in the order right there. All right, now it's just waiting. One thing nice about our method is we get one bricks notice. So you can go into stop limit or stop market. We generally like to use stop limits. Um, stop markets we use in markets that are thin or moving fast just to ensure you get filled. But most of the time, with the speed of NinjaTrader 7 and a lot of the different broker executions, um, you can usually get in with your stop limit. So obviously right now the market's not moving anywhere. And if this would pull back another brick, this uh, warning symbol would go away. An arrow would plot here, which essentially means a deep pullback. The, the order would move down one brick. And then if it would continue down price, it will automatically cancel the order out when this price bar uh, turns indigo in color. 
All right. Um, so what we've done is we've addressed the ability to look at many charts all on one monitor. Again, you're not seeing both sides. You're seeing both sides of the monitor now, but if I uh, make this AMA half the size of the chart, it covers up all my execution cells, which uh, you won't have to worry about you know, in front of your computer. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll just see what happens here. Gold is one of the markets that tends to move uh, after hours, so we'll see if it executes in or pulls back, so we'll just kind of leave this here. So I can show you how we can manipulate our in-trade targets and stops uh, with Ninja Traders Chart Trader. Let me just take a real quick uh, look here at some of these questions, see if I can answer any of them. All right, somebody's asked me, Sandy, what is the win-loss rate of the system? Um, as I stated earlier, we only need to be right half the time uh, with the concept we use about uh, trading two to one, reward to risk. But generally, uh, if you stick to the concept of waiting for markets to trend and taking the trades according to what we teach. Um, most of our experienced traders uh, generally enjoy uh, win rates uh, over 65%, some up as high as eight. Depends on the day too. Some days you'll have 10 out of 10, some days you'll have five out of 10, some days you'll have seven out of 10. It also depends on the markets you choose to trade. So we try not to be market specific, we try to be setup specific. That, and you can see all these markets here, the ES, the YN, the NQ, EMD is a little thin, the Euro, Australian dollar, British pound, uh, Canadian dollar, crude oil, gold, natural gas, bonds. Um, all these are highly liquid markets, and now we have the opportunity all on one screen, all with the same method, getting all this visual information uh, to determine whether or not we want to take a trade setup that will light up in the blocks here when a valid trade setup occurs, all you have to do is click on that block. Okay, it got us in that order. So let me uh, pull this chart back up. Right here, you notice it ticked up, ticked us in, okay? And here's our target up here and stop, two to one. Again, this is not actually a good time of day to be trading, but just wanted to show you here, we could move our target around if we wanted to, okay? We could move our stop around if we wanted to. We do make adjustments to, you know, areas of near left side support or resistance. And, you know, we'll make adjustments up uh, if we have room to the upper side uh, to really try to maintain that two to one or greater uh, on our first target. And again, if we were trading a two lot, we would take both lots off here. If we were trading a three lot, we would exit two of them here and trail our third. This is actually not a market that we would be trading because obviously you see the chop zone here, okay? It's not in a trending condition. It's a complete horizontal price. So quite honestly, this is a market at this point in time uh, that I would pass on. I would be looking actually to get into this trade here. All right, let me just click. This will stay there. This is our uh, Canadian dollar. You can see uh, we've actually had a trade earlier on, but we've pulled back, and there's actually an entry right here uh, that we should be in now looking you know, for this area of support to break. We also look at areas here of what we call divergence, and this is what I was talking about earlier, where when we see this, okay, we're actually in a state of what we call reverse divergence, bullish. So right now, this is not a trade that we would take because there's a good possibility that this is just going to go right back up to the upside. There's a block reserved here for divergence condition. Uh, this is not programmed yet, um, but will be coming. Right now, we look at the chart to determine uh, the state of divergence we're in. But this will be programmed to have green or red, simply meaning bullish or bearish. And I'll have SD for standard divergence, HD for hidden divergence, ED for extended standard, you know, things of that nature. I'll have all the conditions up in here. So basically, once this comes in, the only thing you really need to go to a full-size chart for is left side support and resistance. So let me just get back into the grid here. Um, we can see our gold trade. Uh, essentially is gone nowhere, okay? Uh, we have minus $10 P&L, so we're monitoring real-time P&L here. Yes, everything, also some questions coming up here. Um, we do get alerts uh, on all the possible trades, okay, that's set up inside the value area, both visual and sound alerts. 
just right now, like I said, there's no market movement, so you can't really, you know, flip to a market that's actually, uh, you know, giving us real-time quick setups. Uh, right now, we're dealing with very slow setups, but we do get the alerts. Um, we, this net change column is in ticks and does update, okay? So if this doesn't update real time. It updates every every brick. It's really not so important uh, from a tick by tick standpoint. But this uh, price right here does uptake last price does update real time tick by tick. Okay, so you'll see this match on the GC here 3060 3070. You'll see this match uh, right here according to what we're talking about. Okay. Um, so essentially, uh, this is the MA. Like I said, it's, it's a little unfortunate. I can't show you the full uh, way it's laid out where we have the whole AMA on half of a chart and the uh, chart here on the other half. So you can actually jump back and forth to both. So right now, I'll just leave it up as a full grid. What's really nice about this too is at any time you want to enter the market, all you have to do is click any of these market blocks, cyan for long, indigo for short, and it'll put you in at the market with this. ATM. If you right click on it, it'll put you in opposite. So there are, there are circumstances, and let me pull up the ES here, and this will be, this is often one of them. Uh, let me show you a trade back here a little bit where counter trend traders will see this setup, okay, and jump ball over it. It's a divergence to the downside, I mean, it's a bullish divergence. This reverse Renko bar up here you'll see a lot of traders going long. If we're short and trailing this method, we exit it. However, if you like to play that game, all you have to do is right click on this market button and it'll get you long according to the strategy. Anytime you want to close out, you hit close. See right now we're in profit in our gold position only by a tick. You'll see it, this block light up. We can click this block at any time. It'll move our stop to break even. Let me just show you this real quick so I can demonstrate it real time. Well. I have to do this and then do it. I'll, we're only one tick in the money, but I'll click this. Okay, it's it's not even moving because the market's not moving. But essentially, it uh, moved our stop to break even. Okay, Let's see if I can get this uh, up here. See, it pulled our stop up to break even. So, I mean, it might just come back and get us out. But usually, we like to, if we hit areas of resistance that don't break through, or area support, or very support to the short side, or we hit 75% of our uh, target, we will pull the risk out of the trade and move it to break even. So a lot of functionality built into this here. All right, this tells us that we're in. This green box tells us that we're in a long trade. At any time I want to exit this trade, all I have to do is hit close. Uh, if at any time I want to get out of the trade, this lower right hand box here is a global close box. Let's say we're in a few positions. We have some news coming up, you know, some important news. We have some profit. Uh, we don't really want to be into the market, you know, going into the news. We'll click this block, blocks, box, and it'll flatten everything out uh, for us automatically. So <clears throat> I hope this uh, answers uh, some of those questions that were asked and gives you kind of a, and this is an introduction of the AMA. Um, I do want to talk about something else too. This is a day trading grid, all right? And let me uh, bring this back. And what I'm going to do here is I want to pull up some other charts. And just real quick, I want to talk about something, and, and that is, so if you want to trade, um, let's talk about day trading, okay? Many, all right, I just got to stop, filled my ear. I took our position out to break even so you can see our PNL is zero here, okay? Or maybe I lost one tick, one tick slippage. Anyway, um, Many traders feel they have to day trade to be successful. Okay, in reality, professional day trading is probably one of the most difficult things to be consistent, consistently successful at. It's the tip of the spear, the edge of the sword, call it whatever you want, in the trading world. It requires tremendous focus and discipline, regardless of the type of day trading. And for most, success will never be realized day trading. Okay, and that's just a plain simple fact. I, a lot of people say, what's a guy that's trying to promote, you know, a trading methodology and tools saying that, you know, most traders aren't going to succeed day trading because it's the truth. So with trend following trades, our chart trading method and with the AMA, okay, I'm going to bring up some other charts here. All right. 
we can take the same tools and the same rules and bring it into longer term swing trading charts. Okay, what you're looking at here is the your, the top row here are three different time frames um, of the euro, and the bottom row is of the Australian dollar. Again, you're not going to be able to see all of them because it's capturing uh, just. Let me. You know what? I'm just going to click on this one right here. This uh, 30 wick Renko euro chart. It should be up, and I'm going to maximize it. Just to show you the signals, there's a Wick Renko chart, 30 ticks. Each brick is 30 pips or 30 ticks. This is the micro futures, so it's one tenth size. And essentially, like you'll see here, all the rules are the same. Everything looks identical, except we get into a trade here. We hold a two brick stop, four brick target. And now we can easily put a three lot on because it's only $1.25 a tick, and we can absorb and capture multiple days and sometimes weeks uh, market moves that generates some pretty generous profits without increasing our account risk. There's a famous saying, if you can't make it swing trading, you'll never make it day trading. With what we have to offer, uh, just even with the very basic chart trading methodology and rules, you can do both. Okay. So for those of you that have a hard time day trading, we highly encourage uh, people to swing trade and also if you are successful at day trading, it's a great thing to do side by side. It requires le very little time, very little decision making, um, you know, to do it. It slows everything way down. I'm going to bring up a little uh, chart here. This is what swing trading doesn't do to you. I don't know if anyone can relate. After a hard uh, day of day trading, uh, sometimes it feels like your head's spinning. Uh, swing trading slows things way down. We actually have a, a a fairly decent amount of members that do uh, do this and are very successful at it. Uh, they're successful at swing trading real money. They're learning how to day trade uh, full-size futures, uh, either in sim or with real money, and this enables them to take advantage of real money trading while learning how to do what is considered to be one of the most difficult professions in the world. All right, and what I'm going to do here is to show you that uh, this method can also be used for stocks. ETFs and options, all right? Let me just pull up this chart again. There we go. So essentially, this is a, a chart of Apple. This 100 wick is each brick here is a dollar. Each line you see here is a day, okay? So you can intraday trade stocks, same method, same rules, same tools, or if you pull up a longer time frame, you can swing a position trade it. Um, we consider swing trading using longer Wick Franco bars, and I'm going to pull that here. Okay, and this is actually a daily bar chart. Notice every bar here is a full day. You can see the long and short signals. Okay, and again, uh, this is Apple going back quite a, quite a ways, and this is where I like to you know trade options. We get a signal down here, simply buy and a call. Um, we can, you know, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about options, but we take a directional trade using options. I personally like options, not trading stocks. And we have a risk to find, our target, two to one, and then we trail out. You can see a nice move up here. Get a nice short, nice longs, a nice short here with no permission. You can see we're in buy with Momo. Okay, and now here we're pulling back looking to get long. See if we'll continue the upside. Don't know if it's going to trigger in yet or not. So looking at that, we don't need to day trade with what we have to offer. And there will be AMAs that will be able to pull up uh, both uh, stocks, futures, ETFs, and uh, longer-term charts, uh, Forex charts, uh, inside of the grid. All right. Does anybody have, at this point in time, I'm just going to ask if anybody has any questions. I've gone through a lot. Um, and, you know, I just want to kind of take a little break and answer some questions here. I don't know how much time we have left, Kevin. I don't want to go over, but I want to leave time uh, to answer uh, some questions and talk about some things that uh, traders may or may not uh, want to discuss. Let me get back to this camera on here. 
All right, here's the grid again. All right. What is the average time in trade? Uh, Wayne, it all depends on the speed of the market. You know, again, we the shortest time trade I've been in is about two seconds, and the longest has been in about an hour and a half uh, to a partial. And sometimes I've been in a trade that trailed all day um, into the close. So, you know, that's really depends on what you're trading, the time frame that you're trading, you know, the size of the wick Franco bars, and, you know, the market conditions, okay? Um, thank you, Georgie. It is, is it CPU intensive? Well, um, the answer to that question is the way we have it set up, it's not so bad. Uh, this is not something you want to run on an old XP Pentium machine, for sure. Um, but we have a lot of members, and it's been tested on i5 machines with 6 gig of RAM. It's done pretty well. Uh, the chart trading version doesn't need much of a, uh, a CPU at all. But if you're going to pull up multiple grids uh, on multiple monitors, uh, then you will need some memory and, you know, some computing power. There's only two indicators uh, that are really set uh, to calculate on bar close to false, uh, which does increase the CPU intensity. And um, essentially, it's the one that gives us the, the alerts and plots the lines uh, for where we get in. So it's kind of medium on the CPU side, all right? Uh, yeah, George, I like that. It's kind of a supermarket analyzer. Um, down here, pricing. Okay, uh, this is an introductory webinar on the AMA. It's currently not uh, available for sale. It's going to be released in January. Uh, for those of you that uh, attended this webinar, we will have a release webinar. Um, you'll be emailed uh, an invitation uh, to that webinar. And, you know, I can take you to the purchase page, but we do have uh, pricing, you know, the one thing about this grid, this is not something I recommend that people buy and start with. There's a whole method behind this. This brings into uh, this trading interface a method with it, okay? And that method is the chart trading method from trend following trades, all right? So we are offering a special for the chart method, and um, essentially, uh, here's what it is. Let me just get this camera over to here. Okay. We have two types of options. I'm actually going to pull up uh, our website. Uh, by the way, this is a new website that was launched just a couple of days ago. So we're still adding content, moving stuff over from the older site. I'm going to uh, switch to, to here and just uh, get in again. Thank you, Karen. Okay, this is a picture of our website, trendfollowingtrades.com. If you actually go to subscribe here, this is something we do. It's kind of very unique. You can actually watch this video. It's a day I did recorded, kind of a quasi-recording of a day trading. Is We offer two types of ways that people can get on board with trend following trades. One thing is we don't like to force, to force you to buy something. A lot of people like selling systems. You can see the price of it here, the lifetime uh, for the chart trading version of everything that I've shown you today, not the AMA, but the chart versions for day trading, swing trading, Forex futures options. Um, there's a, a really comprehensive area, uh, educational area in the members site uh, that talks about all the setups, the reading of momentum, all the different filters that we have that give us the success that we, that we enjoy. Um, but a lot of people say, you know, I don't really know if this is for me. I don't know if I want to commit to spending $2,000 or whatever, or more than that, to buy the system. So we offer the ability to subscribe monthly. This is kind of like our trial, okay? So if anybody's going to come up with trial questions, there's your answer. Um, the reason we do this is there is a lot of education behind this. You know, you want to be a brain surgeon. You're not going to pull out a book, read it, and start cutting to somebody's head. Um, we offer a lot of training. It takes a little while to get through. Uh, you subscribe for a month, go through the training, do static back testing, um, go through some sim trading. You'll see real quick, quickly whether or not this is for you, um, you know, whether or not fits your personality, uh, you know, how you like it. Uh, most people really absolutely fall in love with it when they get in front of them. We also offer weekly training sessions, and, you know, so we give the ability to subscribe and to purchase, okay? Um, also, what a lot of people do is they'll, They'll subscribe monthly, and we do have an extra setup fee for the first month and the recurring fee afterwards, and then they'll jump and buy a lifetime license. And we actually give you up to three months credit of the recurring fee. Today, though, we're offering a special, if anybody does want, 
to become a lifetime member, uh, we are offering the uh, the twenty three fifty price uh, discount at four hundred forty nine bucks. So basically, it's nineteen hundred dollars um, to get uh, a lifetime license because of this webinar. If that's something you want to do, please email us. We took down this link because there's some uh, an agreement you guys need to sign um, of understanding and things of that nature. So shoot us an email at info at trend following trades. Or give us a call in the contact tab, and we can send you the link and all the information, um, you know, for uh, taking advantage of us. That offer will expire on the 22nd at midnight. Um, you know, we like to enjoy Christmas Eve. Uh, I do at least with my family, and you know, as a company, there's really not a lot of trading going on around that time anyway. So, essentially, that's where that. A uh, question came up about a trade room. What's going to happen in the future when, when uh, also let me just talk about this. Uh, with the, this is coming soon. It's already out, but we're packaging up and trying to deal with virus issues. When I say virus issues, virus protection issues. And basically we have an email functionality in one of our indicators that will uh, e send you email and SMS text. Um, let me just get to the right page here. Okay. <laughs> And this is coming soon. The minute we can uh, develop a protocol that we can form exclusions for in, a, in the virus softwares, uh, this is great. We use Wikdranko for swing trading, and this will send you emails and our text alerts. Um, it's a little add-on, so you can have that. And then with the AMA, <clears throat> excuse me, you will have access to a trade room. Um, what's the, the next step? Uh, there's two next steps, actually. This, re this method and, and you know, everything we're talking about is very robust. It's robust enough to create strategies with. So we actually have some strategies created, but when they're out, we're going to make them available for sale sometime in the first quarter of 2014, and we're going to be running them in a trade room. And the, the reason for that is because trade rooms are very difficult to work with. You know, you'll see a lot of people trading sim in a trade room and things like that. You know, we're real traders. Uh, me personally, I ran a trade room for a while. I like to trade my full size. I concentrate on multiple uh, markets, multiple monitors before the advent of the AMA. It's one of the biggest reasons it was released. So um, one of the reasons it was developed was to try to focus on one monitor, not spin my head around uh, all over the place looking at a bunch of different markets. So um, when the AMA is released uh, and when we have the strategies, you know, programmed and available, there will be a trade room and that will be included uh, for people that you know, upgrade uh, to the AMA. Um, everybody starts out with the chart trader. So, you know, what we're offering today, okay, this is what I want to put up. I really dig this slide. Okay, and this is, you know, what we say, now's the perfect time to get started with our chart trading package. You know, crawl, walk, run, and right here is the TFT AMA, and that's basically fly. Um, I, you guys can read my bio on our website if you really want to. You can see what I've been through in my history. But basically, I crawled, I walked, and then I stumbled and got up, stumbled and got up, stumbled and got up many, many times before I started to run. And then now at the AMA, I truly can fly, um, what I consider flying in, 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 from a trading standpoint. The AMA, though, is something that is based off the chart trading package. So you know, today, we wanted to introduce it. We wanted to talk about it. You'll see and hear more about it, and uh, you will, uh, if you're here, will be invited to its launch and uh, sale. But it is the perfect time to get started with, started with this chart trading package. Uh, it's being offered a good uh, discount lifetime, and um, you know, or if you want to do a monthly subscription, uh, you can you know do that at any time also. Okay. And what type of support do we give since there's no trade room? Okay, we do. A lot of one-on-one -on -one trainings, depending on the level of the trader's development, uh, like I said, in the members area. Uh, let me actually go into that right now, and let's see if I can pull that up here. Let me just log in. I'll just bring this back for a second. Uh, let me log in here to the members area. Okay, so we should be looking at the member. Okay, now I'm logged in, so I can go into the members area. We go into the learning center. All right, and in here, essentially, getting started, it's really important you go through this. This is a very important video. It's why 95% of traders fail. 
if you don't believe in this, please don't join or call me and uh, you know, we'll talk about getting your money back. This is work. This is not the Holy Grail. Uh, we do go through a very uh, comprehensive learning center where we talk about, you know, just getting you downloaded and getting started, um, understanding how charts build setups, and then uh, we go into this early entry trade plan video series where essentially um, we, we, have an early, we have an actual trade plan. It's my trade plan. I've been trading for a very long time. It's changed a little bit with the enhancement of the new tools, but there's 13 videos in here that go over and explain all the different setups and you know the support. So there's a lot of education. We do weekly training sessions. We try to get them in once a week. Lately, that hasn't happened because of the you know the finishing and uh, the release of the new site, uh, the introduction of the AMA. But generally, we have it once a week. Uh, we get the group together. We do some trading. We also, like I said, also do a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions. You call up, you're having some issues, we'll get on, go to meeting or, you know, Skype or something. Um, and we'll, uh, you know, have a meeting. Uh, we'll talk, uh, you know, things of that nature. Um, you know, and answer pertinent questions. We do recommend backtesting. And then uh, static backtesting, sim trading, realizing profitability on a weekly basis, sim trading, and then switching to real money. There's no sense nowadays with all the tools, especially what NinjaTrader has to offer, with a really nice sim to put money at risk until you have a good uh, understanding of the method and have been able to execute it real time on a simulator that quite honestly to me is actually harder uh, to get fills on than real money. So as long as you don't treat it like a video game. Um, let me just see here if we have any more. Uh, hopefully that answers your question, Walt. Uh, and uh, you know, we do have a lot of support. You can, you'll see some testimonials on the site. Uh, I can hook you up with some people, uh, you know, members that, uh, you know, they, we do support our members, uh, you know, very, very strongly, and we spend a lot of time doing it, too. Um, are members allowed to get together to practice the system? Um, don't quite know what you mean by that, but as TFT traders, uh, if you want to uh, collaborate, um, just keep in mind that uh, when you do join, you know, you're, you do sign a, you know, a non-disclosure agreement that, you know, says you're not going to be on the Internet and a, and a site calling signals out and things like that. Um, we are considering bringing a room moderator on board. I've actually been talking to a couple of people and a third person just recently chimed in. Uh, a daily trade room uh, for the chart trading method. Uh, you know, basically run using all TFT charts, okay? And that may happen. There will be an extra charge for that. If it does, it won't be a lot, but that's going to be a completely separate trade room, um, you know, for trend following trades, chart traders only. And, you know, like I said, when the AMA comes out and it is released, we will have a trade room for that. We're going to be running strategies in it one day. We're going to be discretionarily trading it the next, uh, jumping back and forth. The object is to make money in the trade room as a trader. That's what I want to do. And to educate people and answer questions uh, of what's going on. I don't believe in trade rooms that where people trade sim or they, you know, basically this service doesn't make money off of traders. We make money trading. Um, we're trying to put together something that's truly unique in this industry where you have a discretionary method, very visually simplistic. It's now been taken into the grid. Uh, trend following trades, you know, the ETF, the AMA allows you for fast execution of markets that are trending. Uh, then uh, we're going to, you know, we've already developed the strategies and they're quite robust. Uh, you can take it all the way up to auto trading without changing, without curve fitting its performance. So that basically from soup to nuts um, is the method, is the company, and is the direction that we're heading. So if anybody has any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. I'm, going to put you up to the contact page here. Uh, we do have a phone number. Uh, we are traders, so please keep in mind, a lot of times we get the answer machine during the trading day, make a lot of our calls in the afternoon and evenings. And like you can see in the in the, your text box or your chat box, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call. We are Eastern Time. We're located in between New York and Philadelphia, so gives you an idea of time zone where we're at. And um, anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to call. You want to take us up on the, on the software and look, look in the future for more announcements about the release of the AMA 
and the webinar that truly releases it for sale. Um, again, we recommend people you know start with the chart trading version. You got to start there, and then you can either upgrade to it. It's going to be a price difference. So uh, basically, the price of the AMA at that point is going to be the difference in price that you paid for the chart trading and for what it's selling for at the time. So everybody, if you have questions, please ask them. Um, if not, uh, don't hesitate to email us or call. And I think I'm probably running on an hour here and maybe a little bit over. And having said that, I want to thank everybody for taking their time to attend this introductory webinar of the TFT AMA and in a, you know, a, a summary of trend following trades uh, and essentially what we're all about. Um, you notice on our site here, I just want to leave this up for people to see. And it's our mission statement. It, we are truly a company and a service that is trying to be the last stop on a trader's journey to success. And go through this, read a lot uh, about it. I think you'll find it informative. And don't hesitate to contact us. We are a tight group. We're not large by any means. We care about our traders and our members. We do whatever we can to succeed at this mission statement. Thank you, everybody. And uh, Kathy or Kevin, um, if you want to take over or I don't know at this point, uh, what you want to do, I'm pretty much finished, and I think I've gotten through all the questions. Um, again, I want to thank this uh, very cooperative group uh, for spending the time uh, for this presentation. Hey, everyone. We want to thank you for coming to Online Trader Central tonight. Kind thanks goes to our host, John Carnes of www.trendfollowingtrades.com. We've been proud to hear him release the whole world global release of his new AMA, Trend Following Trade System, Methodology, Technology. It was a great event. We want to thank you all for your time and your participation. And we'll be closing the room in about 60 seconds. Have a great night ahead and a good day trading. Oh.